The most mysterious internet puzzle continues. For decades now, bits of data have been appearing on the internet from various sources. Often it has been a string of numbers in groups of three. Sometimes it's simply just a binary code. It appears for years, and sometimes it doesn't appear for even longer periods. It's considered by many to be an internet puzzle or a code that people were supposed to solve by now. But this puzzle remains unsolved despite all the effort poured into schemes and plan to crack the codes. In this video, I explore the history of these mysterious internet codes and why they continue to appear regularly, perhaps with the hope that someone will figure them out this time. You may not want to take on the internet's most difficult puzzle on a calm January day. Before anybody had heard of Lolcats or Anonymous, Cicada 3301 initially surfaced on 4chan when an insect image was uploaded there. Hello, we are seeking for exceptionally brilliant people. To locate them, we have designed a test, read the message in white letters on a black backdrop. This picture has a hidden message. You'll find us if you follow the path that leads there. We're eager to greet the few who make it all the way. All the best. 3301. The first few puzzles could be solved by a clever individual working alone. Still, as the participants fell deeper into the rabbit hole, the references became less obvious. One clue involved a poem from a collection of medieval Welsh manuscripts. Another a quote from a William Gibson book that was only released on 3.5-inch floppies. Eventually, the puzzles became too difficult for even the savviest participants. It was evident that no one individual could expect to solve everything when the game went into the real world. A sequence of GPS coordinates was posted, leading to QR codes mounted to lampposts in five different countries, from Poland all the way down to Australia. The final puzzle directed players to an address for a website on tour, the anonymous browser now best known for its use by the Silk Road black market. But only the fastest movers ever got to see what was on the page. It was quickly blanked and replaced with the statement, we want the best, not the followers. For those deemed followers, Cicada was over they couldn't participate in the final puzzles. Another picture appeared on 4chan's message board precisely a year and a day after the original one, although again. Once again, a picture led to a series of riddles, and the puzzles ultimately pointed to real-world places, and once again, the trail was suddenly blocked off to all but the strongest players. There was nothing anybody could do except wait and see whether the pattern would repeat itself. It worked. Instead of a photograph uploaded to 4chan as in 2013's puzzle, a Twitter account that had been participating in the search flared to life and shared yet another image of white writing on a black background, albeit one with more nomic words than ever before. I attempted to participate in the search, but it hasn't worked out well. First, I discovered that what seemed completely black was a very dark gray picture of a cicada, which was simple to uncover by fiddling with the image color levels in Photoshop. Success using steganography, a technique that allows users to bury information in seemingly innocuous files. I used a program called OutGuess to extract the information from the image. To do so, I had to install Xcode, the Mac OS X developer tools, create a new command line project based on the source code I downloaded, and reconfigure the program for Mac. When I turn to the community for help, I find that they've already extracted the text and solved the challenge. Three sections of text can be retrieved from the picture. The third is a signature, verifying that the image is authentic and has not been tampered with. But above it is the next stage in this puzzle. After the poem-like first line, there are a series of numbers separated by colons, ending with the word dot onion, which indicates that the solution, when found, will be a URL to another Tor-hosted website, in keeping with previous year's patterns. The first digit represents the paragraph, the second is the phrase, the third is the word, and the fourth is the letter. It's like the most annoying cryptic crossword ever, with no norms, no assistance as to length, and no method of testing, whether you've got the proper answer beyond seeing whether the URL works. It's like the most frustrating crossword ever. According to the community, the essay Self-Reliance by American author Ralph Waldo Emerson seems to provide the solution. Transcendentalism is a theme in this piece. In Self-Reliance, he trusted himself, relates to trust find self, which is a recurring motif. I doubt I could have figured it out on my own. One of the winners of the 2012 challenge released an email containing information about Cicada's true identity. Still, the leaker had to delete their signature to keep their name a secret. However, others who received the same email confirmed that the contents were authentic. 
As a result of all of your inquiries, we have decided to reveal ourselves to you all, it says. We're an international team. We don't have a name. We don't have a logo. We don't keep a list of our members. A public website and advertising are not part of our business model. By finishing this recruiting contest, we've shown our abilities, just like you, and we're attracted together by our shared values. This opinion that tyranny and oppression must cease, that censorship is bad, and that privacy is an intrinsic right, may have been shown by carefully reading the text used in the contest. At the end of the first cicada, it was possible that the whole thing was a game or publicity stunt. Before the launch of Halo 2, Microsoft did something similar, launching an alternative reality game called I Love Bees. But that game ran for just three months before it ended with an invitation to play the game. There have been rumors that the NSA or GCHQ are actively looking for spies on the message board 4chan, although there is no evidence to support this. The secret services have also been known to recruit using riddles and games in the past. So far, tangible cicada artifacts have emerged in eight countries and 11 U.S. states. The organization has purchased phone lines and paid for server uptime, and it has delivered something to the winners that have earned their quiet. With substantial means, cicada must be the product of more than one individual. My last attempt at solving a riddle was to try to crack the 70-character code that had been discovered by merging two previously obtained solutions. My ears perk up when someone mentions that Enigma's code was structured similarly. They link to an Enigma simulator. The most common version of the Enigma has a key that contains four letters. Thus, there are a little less than 5 million possible outcomes. When I check, the mystery has been solved, and the Enigma idea doesn't even need a mention. It included arranging the letters into 13 columns and rearranging the sequence until a readable text form. When I exit the chat room, they discuss a significant amount of data located between two photos on yet another dark website. I give up and tackle the G2 crossword instead. The solution leads to another dark website with another image and additional problems that remain unintelligible to me. The mere existence of unsolved mysteries is truly riveting, and there are countless tales of murderers, kidnappings, serial killers, and mysterious disappearances that have remained unresolved for decades. For some people, these stories are captivating, while others find them narratively boring. We all have our preferences on which mysteries we enjoy the most. However, each tale is captivating due to its mysterious nature, and we should be thankful for the stories that capture our attention. If you are also a big fan of the mystery genre, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Case Close to ensure you stay updated on some of the hottest mysteries. See you in the next video. Until then, we bid adieu.